Thank you for joining me for the remainder of our video regarding Lava Zone Insurance for one and two. We are going to jump right on in to the Lava Zone maps. Here you can see on this slide the maps provided by the USGS. What does the Lava Flow Hazard Zone map show? Nine Lava Flow Hazard Zones for the volcanoes on Hawaii Island. Kilauea, Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, Hualalai, and Kohala are shown on the map. The zones ranked from one through nine represent a scale of decreasing hazard as the numbers increased based on the probability of coverage by lava flows. The land area classified under zone one, the most hazardous, includes volcanic vents in the summits and rift zones of Kilauea and Mauna Loa, Hawaii's two most active volcanoes. Zone 9, considered the least hazardous region, consists of Kahala, a volcano that has not erupted for 60,000 years. What do the different lava zones mean? Lava flow hazard zones based on location of erupted vents past lava coverage and topography. There are nine lava zones mentioned earlier, but since we are focusing on the two most hazardous zones, I will be discussing those two. Lava zone one is the most hazardous and the volcano vents have been repeatedly active. And lava zone two is the next most hazardous and includes areas adjacent to and downslope of zone one. 15 to 26% of zone two has been covered by lava since 1800 and 25 to 75% has been covered in the past 750 years. Relative hazard within zone two decreases gradually as one moves away from zone one. The rest of the graph goes into further details for zones three through nine, which are not as hazardous and insurance options are more readily available. On this slide, you will see some photos of the Kilauea eruption from 2018. I think it's important to see how destructive the volcano and lava can be after an eruption by providing these visuals. Unfortunately, the eruption caused damage to 700 homes, businesses, and other structures. It caused devastation throughout the community and insurance carriers eventually pulled out of the market or restricted writing new policies during this time. Now, currently, as of February 2021, we have two insurance carrier options for Lava Zones 1 and 2, American Modern and HPIA. American Modern is a standard insurance carrier with a financial rating of A+. HPIA is a nonprofit unincorporated association of all licensed insurers that write property and casualty insurance in Hawaii. Each insurer is required to be a member of the HPIA as a condition of their authority to transact business in the state. There's no public funding or taxpayer monies involved. American Modern recently placed restrictions for writing new policies in certain areas, particularly Lava Zone 2. However, they do not determine a property's Lava Zone based on the USGS Lava Zone maps that I provided earlier. Their determination of whether or not a property is in a Lava Zone is based off of their process using Shapefile which determines the property's address, latitude, and longitude. And in general, Puna and South Hilo are currently restricted. And the best way we at Atlas Insurance can determine if a property qualifies to be insured with American Modern is to be given the property address. We will input this address in their system to see if it's acceptable. And from a zip code perspective, generally, most of the following zip codes fall in American Modern Zone 2 and would be restricted. Now, there are zip codes that fall part in Zone 1 and part in Zone 2. So keep in mind, this isn't exactly a foolproof list. But these zip codes include 96710, 96718, 96720, 96749, 96760, 
and 96785. So again, if the property address falls within these zip codes, it may be restricted with American Modern. And the best way for us to determine if it's restricted or qualifies with them is to provide us with the property address. So if American Modern does accept a property, they do have a pretty flexible policy and in insure homes up to 750,000. And they also accept many different type of occupancies. They accept primary homes, secondary homes, vacation rentals, long-term rentals, vacant and older homes, and they may consider unpermitted structures on a case-by-case -case basis. However, they do not accept homes within a thousand feet of the ocean. In addition, they do accept credit cards, checking account ACH payments, and they offer payment plans, including a pay in full discount if it's not billed to the mortgage company. If the property is not accepted by American Modern, it may qualify with HPIA. Now, HPIA does use the lava zone maps determined by the USGS. They will accept homes in both lava zones one and two, However, they will only insure a home up to 350,000. And they do have more restrictions on the type of occupancy for the home. They will only accept a primary residence or a long-term rental. And a long-term rental is where the tenant occupies the home for six months or longer. They do not accept secondary homes, vacation, vacant, or unpermitted structures but they do accept homes within a thousand feet of the ocean. Now they do not have flexible payment options and only accept check payments. They require a $250 deposit by the client with the balance being due in 30 days. If the insurance is impounded for a client, the balance of the premium will be due at closing. And the renewals are paid by check only and in full. So with the two markets that we currently have available, you can see how the underwriting guidelines differentiate. So again, if you have any questions or inquiries for quotes, please feel free to contact me. My contact information is here and the best way to reach me is by email. My email address is chill or chill at atlasinsurance.com. If you would like to speak to any of our other account managers, please feel free to contact our office at 808-533-3222. So this concludes the video for insurance in Lava Zones 1 and 2, and I hope you found the information provided to be valuable and enlightening. Thank you so much.